Hello guys, today I'll show you some of my R&D that how you're going to make a fluid cache simulation. So it's a very common topic that uh, you know a fluid cache is very easy. Just select the fluid, go to FX and in cache, create a new cache and you can create the cache based on your path. So the thing is that this is everybody knows this kind of thing that how we are going to create the cache. So, but my topic is not that. So, if I go to your desktop and create a folder, and I can put the cache right here, and I'm going to simulate the cache and uh, this uh, replace this. So, I'm getting the cache. So, you can see that a very low resolution. Uh, simulation is happening because of uh, in this tutorial my intention is not to show you a highly realistic uh, simulation this is purely for cache me no the cache is happening here suddenly if I interrupt it 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 can happen your machine got shut down or your Maya can crash so because of this is very low simulation and uh, because of if I see this it is five only, so nobody is going to simulate any cache in five resolution. So it has to be maybe five hundred in in production, or uh, maybe in your home you can make it three hundred or maybe two hundred, right? So it will take a huge time to from one to twenty two frames. It will take a really huge time, like maybe uh, maybe. 10 hours it will take based on your computer based on your system capacity but in home pc you cannot uh, make it happen so what if i can make part by part so I, like suppose we have this 22 frames and then in next morning i can make it from 22 23 to uh, 44 so and so forth so this is a very nice approach that uh, I have come across when I was making this cache uh, simulations. So I can see that uh, I have this cache here and 22 frames cache has done and you need to see that that from where you need to start your cache right but your last cache frame is not at all uh, reliable you have to see uh, your uh, size if it is uh, less than your previous cache file then means you have to delete this file and you have to re-simulate the cache from that particular frame uh, because of uh, if it is uh, your machine got shut down maybe your last file the last cache file maybe can get corrupted so it is very good to see that check your size of your cache uh, so now this is cool this is no problem in this and and 22 and I need to start from 23 so what I have to do that uh, we have that the cache here so this is a cache attached with our fluid container and we have all the details we have that uh, the settings that I have got for this cache but uh, suppose you need to take this cache into your home or your office and you need to re-simulate this cache so what I have to do so if I cut this out and if I put it in a new directory suppose here because of uh, in your home you are making a cache in a directory but in your office if you take that cache you have to input it in different directory also right so what will happen then that uh, your the path is not going to relocate so you have to do it manually so what I have to do you have to go to your uh, you can see delete cache so and then you can create the cache but this is the option you have here that append to cache so this is the option which will 
uh, start your cache file after uh, where you have ended your cache files. So if I click on this, nothing will happen. You will get an error because of uh, when I see that we don't have any cache that I have recently deleted it. It can happen also. I have deliberately deleted it, and unknowingly you can delete that cache, and you'll be you know not knowing that what is going to happen in your fluid simulation. So first of all, this append to cache is is dealing with your cache files. So enter the cache. So it is in F, and here the cache file. So we have this cache here. So now if I see this cache append to cache option. So see if it is uh, see, see, uh, reset the settings. You can see this is the settings and current time to time slider end. That means what you need to uh, get the current time. That means is what the current frame. Uh, if it is in one, it will start from a one only. So you need to check your last frame also. That this is 22. I need to start it from 23. So then what I have to do, type here 23 and it will come here in 23 frame. Then you can go for this app into cache. And now you can see right there from 22, 23 frame, it is going to start your cache. And it is getting the cache files here. Like you can see 24, 25, 26, 27. So this is how it is happening. And this is what I want, right? So, part by part, we can make a cache. This is a very nice feature. And let me stop this cache here. This is it. Hope you have liked it. If you really like this video tutorial, do like, share, and subscribe so that I can get motivated by your support. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.